Hello everyone, my name is Brenton, or Cranky, and I have an awful YouTube channel, and you're watching it. And your eyes do not deceive you, this is COD footage. Uh, I had to find gameplay that lasted about 6 or 7 minutes, and the only way I could really do that it was through COD. I couldn't do that through NHL, but that's alright. We'll, uh, we'll move on. Anyway, um, pretty much the way I do it in COD is uh, my friend and I would do this thing called uh, random uh, classes. So we randomize our cl classes completely using a website. And uh, at the moment, I'm using a KSG, and like, yeah, it's, it doesn't turn out well, but this game I don't do too bad. But anyway, the, this video is obviously about the NHL 14 achievements that were released today, and um, some insights that we can gain from that about uh, the game going forward. So, some things that haven't been released. Well, first off, we'll, well actually, before we go on the, the, the tip bits, the interesting things, uh, we'll go through some of the really hard ones. Uh, there are two. Um, well, there's one. The really hard one I can see is be a member of an EASHL club that has a perfect record last season and return to the season's hub. So, I don't know what that means, a perfect record. Uh, I play ESHL. -E I have an elite team. Um, it is almost impossible to go perfect. I don't know. Maybe I'm the... Uh, maybe I'm out there um, in saying that, but I don't think there's many perfect clubs out there. So, and it's only for thirty points. So maybe there's something different there. Maybe there's like sessions in a day or something. But yeah, I don't know. Um, so there's some pretty standard ones. By the way, all this will there's a link in descriptions for it. But um, we'll go through some other things here that I, that I'd like to talk about. Um, the main thing is, is uh, so there's the usual stuff like coast to coast and all things like that. The thing that I really want to talk to is be a pro. So there's a few things here. Um, uh, billboard, sign an endorsement deal and be a pro with the created pro. So this is obviously coming under the whole like living the life thing. So it's obviously signing in, uh, signing some sort of endorsement deal like, hey, I represent Nike now. You know, I have the tick of approval. Uh, we'll keep going down here. Uh, accepted, be invited by one of your, ha uh, be invited out by one of your teammates. Uh, so there must be that sort of thing. Um, have a fan like ability, have your fan like ability meter full. So that's obviously mean fans obviously give a shit what you do. I assume if you play well, it doesn't really matter. And then there's a few others here. Uh, locker room favorite, which is self-explanatory. Suck up, which is have your management like ability at full. And family man, have your family like, like ability meter full. Now I don't know about you, but I don't play video games to, uh, to have a sim family. As a matter of fact, I'll probably piss them off by probably piss my girlfriend off by playing two minutes video games. So I don't want to have my own family to bloody cater to. Oh god. Anyway, I don't think it's bad. Um, media superstar. Before, perform a post and pre-match interview in Be A Pro. So, once again, this comes under the whole, uh, comes under the whole, you know, living the life thing. Um, which is interesting. Um, and making millions. Acquire $50 million in your career. Uh, which is pretty easy. Um, you know, you just gotta get through your career and and do that, but I like the fact that there might be actual contract negotiations. You might actually get to do that and be a pro. Um, there doesn't seem to be much here for the GM guys. Um, by the looks of things, it's just the usual stuff like get legendary GM, win a title in this conference. You know, nothing, nothing out there that you can really gain insight to. Now there is some stuff. Now the next one's hockey ultimate team. Uh, have a perfect season record in hockey ultimate team. I don't know. Maybe perfect season means no DNFs. Because I, I can't imagine it's like do not lose in a month. Because that's ridiculous. Especially if there's like a max that you have to do. Um, but the insight that we can gain from that is Hockey Ultimate Team, uh, Hockey Ultimate League, they're calling it now, um, has its own season. So it seems to be a bit more like the FIFA structure, I'm assuming, with different divisions and things like that. Uh, changing skins is there. So change team items. So that's back. Uh, use the, you know, captains are there, collectors, um, all that stuff is there, but I think the thing that we can gain from, I'm just trying to find it here, there's one here that's like, go up a division, bear with me, I'll just try to find it here, um, here we go, moving up, get, get your first division promotion in Hockey Ultimate Team sessions, uh, seasons, so, obviously there's going to be a few divisions, I'm hoping there's, I think there's 10 in FIFA, maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, maybe that's in club, but yeah, so obviously we'll have that, um, we'll also have playoffs, so I think it'll make HUT a bit more enjoyable, a bit more to come back to, um, which is excellent, I love, I love HUT, uh, those who, uh, watch my YouTube channel, uh, most of it is HUT, so, um, so that's fine, I'm pretty happy with the BR Pro stuff as well, I think the living your life thing would be pretty good, 
Um, but yeah, otherwise than that, it's pretty much the usual stuff, but it just adds that little bit extra to be a pro, and I think Hut will just be a bit more balanced, uh, a bit more enjoyable, have a bit more replay value. Uh, for the masses, I myself can play that for ages, but I like, um, I, I think it'll be good with seasons and some other things like that. It's just, um, I don't know how they're going to do it with, like, if there's AI tournaments, things like that. And, uh, the last but not least, um, just because these are some things that just haven't been confirmed yet. Uh, win a NHL moment live, moments live moment on Superstar Difficulty. So that means moment, NHL moments live uh, is coming back again. Um, one uh, interesting one here is, it's called How Hospitable Are You? Uh, How Hospitable Of You? So complete your host, host sorry, hospitability settings. Um, it's the last one there. I don't know what that is in regards to, so that might be some weird um, weird setting or anything like that. And then um, just to dwell on the moments, I hope the moments are a lot better this year. Um, I think they could have added more than one uh, a week. Um, honestly, like there's always, there's always a couple of moments that they can pinch. Uh, you know with the demo, how they play the footage, I don't understand why they couldn't do that. I um, understand like they probably don't want to be sorting that out but it can't take too long surely so I, I would like to see see that sort of sum up a little come up a bit more with a bit more better moments and like this playoffs they just died but i assume that's so there are, there's moments for next uh, in next year's game but that'll be pretty much it really but anyway guys uh, we're approaching the end of this video um hope i didn't yeah you know, i did all right like i said i'm not good with a ksg so it's not really anything anything special, but you know, unfortunately, it's just <laughs> what you get sometimes, especially if you have to use the KSG. Uh, I'm just not good at it, and it's not what I usually use. But anyway, as you can see, we won pretty convincingly. I think I had a kill-death ratio of about 3.33 or 3.38. But anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure. Uh, so, yeah, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Oh, if you got any comments or anything like that, whack it down the bottom. I don't care about likes or subscribe, but if you got something to say, whack it down the bottom. Too easy, guys. Bye.